Hi everybody. Uh, unit three proofs are uh, we have to write a lot. So for each proof, I'm going to ask you to uh, pause the video, write things down before you go to the next video. So you probably have to pause uh, a lot every slide. Um, there are a lot of proofs that we need to do uh, for this unit. So let's get started. Um, first one, we have a uh, picture diagram here. We have angle 5 and 6 are congruent to each other. And then angle 6 and 4 are congruent to each other. You need to prove that AB, line A, segment AB, and line segment BC are uh, parallel to one another. So what you're going to do is first, you're going to write the statement. Number one, angle five and angle six, uh, and angle six and four are congruent. And you need to write number one, given. So please write this down, number one. And you always have to number uh, each statement, one, two, three. And then number four and number five uh, is also congruent. That is a uh, transitive property. So you can simply write transitive property of congruence. So basically, if five and six is congruent to each other, six and four are congruent to each other, then five and four, or four or five, these two are congruent to each other. And then you can actually prove that um, AB is uh, BC are parallel to one another because the alternate interior converse. Because this angle, 4, and this angle are alternate interior converse. And in order for it to be these two lines to be uh, parallel to one another, you need to have alternate interior converse, angles converse, um, as a reason. And that's how you prove that um, these two lines are parallel to one another. So please pause the video and copy these one, two, three statements and reasons for this proof. Next one we're going to look at, given is angle 1 and angle 5 are supplementary. Angle 1 and angle 4 are supplementary. Then you got to prove that J and K, they are parallel to each other. So you need to prove that these two angles, 4 and 5, are alternate interior converse. They are congruent. So first statement should be number 1, write 1. Angle 1 and 5 are supplementary. Angle 1 and 4 are supplementary. So you're going to write these two given statements here. And you're going to write 1, given. And then you're going to write down, since we're proving J and K needs to be parallel to each other, you're going to write angle 4 and angle 5 are congruent because uh, you have the congruent supplements theorem. It's in unit 2. If you actually look at uh, postulate theorems and construction reference paper I gave you in unit 2, uh, it has a congruence, congruent supplements theorem, which means if two angles are supplements of the same angle, then two angles are congruent. So right here, uh, if this is supplement to this, this so 5 is supplemented to 1, 4 is supplement to 1, then 5 and 4 are, uh, 4 and 5 are supplement to each other. So congruent supplements theorem. And then uh, number 3, uh, you can just write J and K is parallel. Uh, line J and K is parallel to each other. And number 3, because ultimate, alternate interior angles con converse, because uh, they are congruent, so you can prove that these two are uh, parallel to each other. Next, let's try the next one. Uh, P and Q are parallel to each other. Please prove that angle 1 and angle 2 are 180 degrees. So angle 1 is here, angle 2 is here. So you're going to first write number 1. P is parallel to Q. And you're going to write given. 
Number two, angle one and angle four, they are uh, congruent to each other. They are alternate exterior angle. And then angle four, number three, angle four and angle two are a linear pair. That's a definition of linear pair. Angle four, uh, number four, angle four, and angle two are supplementary. So you can write four linear pairs are supplementary. Number five, uh, angle two and angle four, when you add those together, they are 180 degrees. That's definition of supplementary angles. Angle 1 and angle 4 are equal to each other. Definition of congruent angles. Therefore, angle 1 and angle 2 is 180 degrees. That's substitution. So please pause the video and uh, copy this down. So when you're doing proofs, this is the paper I gave you um, last unit, postulate theorems and construction paper chapter one two and i think i believe i gave you up to chapter three so please have this handy and i'm going to give you more so have this handy and use this to do the help you do the proofs when you do the proofs please be patient we need to do a lot of practice on this uh, that is proof is the most challenging part of geometry honors so uh, please uh, be patient when you do this and as you write down the proofs. Next, we're going to prove alternate interior angles theorem. Alternate interior angles are angle 1 and 2. So you want, we want to prove that these two are equal to each other. When given is P and Q, line P and Q are parallel to one another. So the statement 1, you should start with 1. P is parallel to Q. 1 is given. Number 2, write 2 please. Angle 1 and angle 3 are congruent because they are corresponding. Number 3, angle 3 and 2 are uh, vertical angles. Definition of vertical angles. Number 4, angle 3 and angle 2 are congruent to each other. That's vertical angles are congruent. Therefore, angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent to each other because of transitive property of congruence. So if angle three and three and two, 1 and 3 is congruent to each other, 3 and 2 is congruent to each other, then 1 and 2 is congruent to each other. That's where the transitive uh, property of congruence comes up to play. So please pause the video and copy these and write down the proofs. Make sure you number each one, 1 through 5. So I'm going to ask you to try this on your own. Prove consecutive interior angles theorem. So consecutive interior angles are these, 1 and 2. Given line P and Q are parallel to each other, Prove 1 and 2 are supplementary right here. And I want you to try the proof. Please uh, use this paper. Um, I will uh, post this on Google Classroom also, if I haven't already, to actually help you to use the theorems and postulate and stuff. So please pause the video and try this one. Pause the video. Here is the uh, proof for consecutive prior angles theorem angle one and two are supplementary so please check uh, your proof number one should be given p is parallel to q number two angle one and three are congruent because they are alternate interior angles number three two and three are linear pair because that's a definition of linear pair angle two and three are supplementary linear pairs are supplementary Angle 2 plus 3 measurement is 180, definition of supplementary angles. Angle uh, 
at measurement angle 1 and at measurement angle 3, uh, they are equal to each other, definition of congruent angles. Measurement angle 1 plus measurement angle 2 is 180, that's substitution. And then measure, uh, angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles, that's definition of supplementary. Please uh, pause the video and check your answers. I'm going to ask you to, to try this on your own again. Prove alternate exterior angles theorem. Given J and K are parallel to each other, angle 1 and angle 2 prove that these two are congruent. Please uh, pause the video and try this, and you're going to check it when you're done. Please be patient. Uh, this is challenging. Uh, you need to do lots of practice, so we will do more practice in class. But please try this on your own. Pause the video. So this one, uh, number one, is J and K is parallel to each other. That's given. Angle 1 and angle 3 are corresponding. Angle 2 and angle 3 are vertical angles, definition of vertical angles. And angle 2 and 3 are congruent, vertical angles are congruent. Angle 1 and angle 2 is congruent, you prove that, it's transitive property. Uh, so you prove 1 and 2, they are congruent to each other. If angle 1 and 3 are congruent, angle 2 and 3 are congruent, then angle 1 and 2 are congruent. So that's where the transitive property of congruence comes from. Let's do the next one. This one uh, so, so I was supposed to have M uh, perpendicular, so I apologize for the uh, drawing. It's not correct, but let's just uh, pretend these are uh, perpendicular 90 degrees. So given that M and P are perpendicular, and M and Q are perpendicular, prove that P and Q are parallel to each other. So let's pretend these are perpendicular 90, and this is this M transversal straight. Um, M and P are perpendicular, M and Q are perpendicular, that's given. We're going to prove that P and Q are parallel to each other. So number 2, let's write angle 1 is a right angle. Angle 2 is the right angle, so we're going to write definition of perpendicular. And we're going to write angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent to each other. All right angles are congruent. And then P is parallel to Q, so because ultimate interior angles converse. So please um, pause the video and write these down. The next one is measurement 7 is 125, measurement 8 is uh, 55, the angles. Prove that uh, J and K is parallel to each other. So number 1, the given statement is measurement angle 7 is 125, measurement angle 8 is 55, that's given. And then number 2, you should write Measurement number seven, measurement seven, angle seven plus measurement angle eight is 180. 125 plus 55 is 180. You can actually write substitution or simplify. And then number three, angle seven and angle eight are supplementary. So that's the definition of supplementary angles. Therefore, J and K is parallel to each other because consecutive interior angles con uh, converse. Because when you have that, it proves that these two are parallel to each other. So for homework, I'm going to ask you to do the proof for next four uh, slides. This one, this one, this one, and there's one more on the last page. I want you to uh, be patient and try uh, doing the proof. And then in class, we're going to check it. So this is your homework. So you need to do uh, next four, okay? So please uh, complete the proof. Don't forget the last one on the last page. And then we'll go over in class. Be sure to use the postulate theorems uh, paper that I gave you. I'll post on uh, Google Classroom again.